Hey guys, Simcoder here and today we are back and we are going to take care of a small problem that we have with our app drawer and I have talked about this problem uh, in the past lesson, I believe and it is really simple so I'm going to pull up the app right now and the, the problem arises when we uh, open up the drawer we scroll down and then when we scroll up again we expect for the, the grid view to scroll up not the drawer to go back down but that's what happened as you can see so we are unable to scroll up we will be only be able to scroll up when it is in the bottom so we'll try to fix it it is really simple actually so yeah let's get right into it and go into our android studio project and uh, we are in the main activity obviously so we are going to scroll till here in the initialize drawer and this is where we are going to fix the problem so the first thing that we are going to do is to actually make the bottom sheet behavior final because we'll have to do uh, to use it inside methods so it is uh, you could make it either global or make it final so I'm going to go with final and now I'm going to say m bottom sheet behavior dot set bottom sheet callback new bottom sheet behavior bottom sheet callback and it will create uh, two methods for you so um, the on state change and on slide we won't be using on slide but but we'll be using the on state change and on state change is triggered whenever the bottom sheet behavior um, dot state whatever is changed so when whether it is scroll uh, it is uh, being pulled up uh, whether it is being dragged better yet whether it is collapsed whether it is um, expanded so on and so forth and that way we'll be able to control uh, whether or not the bottom sheet is uh, collapsed or expanded depending on the position of the grid view so it this is really important so let me just uh, grab this so we'll only be able to do this whenever the grid view is at the top not uh, at the bottom not in the middle at the top this will force the um, the app to first scroll up or down depending on whether it is collapsed or expanded uh, before doing something to the bottom sheet behavior state so yeah let's just uh, try to to fix this and it is actually really simple so we'll just say if new state equals to bottom shit behavior dot state hidden and m grid view m drawer grid view dot get child and I'll explain this in a second so don't worry get child at zero dot get x different from zero uh, get x not it is get y and it is missing a parenthesis there okay now it is right then we'll do behavior uh, m bottom sheet behavior dot set state bottom sheet behavior state expanded okay so what this piece of code does and we still have to do another if and you'll understand it in a second but what this uh, code does is if the the state that just changed so in this case if the state just changed to state hidden which is the um, the same thing as being uh, collapsed and the drawer grid view child the first child of the drawer grid view so the first app that appears in the drawer grid view is different from zero the position in the y then that means that we can go ahead and expand the bottom sheet behavior okay that's just this piece of code is extremely simple but it is extremely important because it allows uh, it doesn't allow the user to change the state of the grid view to it blocks them from actually scrolling in the grid view while it is uh, collapsed 
Now, let's do the same thing, for, but for, the, uh, for when it is expanded. So, if bottom sheet behavior is in the state dragging, and the M drawer uh, uh, grid view child at zero, Y is different from zero again, then we'll simply say state expanded. Okay, so now let's test this piece of code and see if it fixed our problems and let's see how it looks. So let me just launch the app. It should be fast. Okay, here we are. And we cannot uh, scroll in here. Okay, that's good. Now let's try to scroll up. And as you can see, it doesn't let us collapse the, the drawer. You have to scroll to the top before it collapses. But after that, you are more than free to do so. And in here, you can scroll either. So yeah, <coughs> that's doing exactly what we needed. It is just a small fix for a small problem, but yeah, it works nicely. And yeah, so in the next lesson, we'll probably move on to the um, uh, actually uh, actual home screen. And we'll start working with uh, the apps and uh, displaying the apps that we want in our home screen. We'll be probably using uh, view pagers for that. Um, I say probably because I'm still uh, trying to find if there is any other better way of doing so, but I believe view pagers is the way to go. So yeah, but let's see how it goes. Um, up till now, the drawer is uh, completely done. We still have to do some things to the, to the apps, but no worries there. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.